In this video, we're going to be using Crown and Crane Tobacco Caramel and the Above the Tie SSRH Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back to another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and boy, we have a good one for you today. We are using Crown and Crane Tobacco Caramel which has a beautiful scent. Um, there is a look at the lather. I've whipped it up already in the Captain's Choice Bowl. Really, really nice um, tobacco scent. We'll put the notes for you on the screen. This seems familiar to me, although I can't place it. It's really, really nice. Medium scent strength. Just a tremendous tobacco scent. When I say tobacco, I mean the tobacco plant, not like smoking uh, tobacco in its smokable sort of form. Oh man, very, very nice, uh, clean, fresh, a little warmth to it. I like it a lot. The price on this is quite good, $16.95 for five ounces. And on a cost chart there, that is $3.39 an ounce, which is a good price. This is a tallow based soap. Show you the ingredients on the screen right there. And the consistency on this soap is, uh, it's towards firm. Um, it's not soft and goopy whatsoever, which you know I like. The razor that we are using today is the Above the Tie SSRH, which I've been enjoying. Above the Tie sent me this head to try. I already had the uh, H1, and so they sent this one, and boy, I've been enjoying it. So I think I'm going to actually pick this one up from Above the Tie, uh, buy it. It's sporting the Atlas handle. This runs about $160. It's made in the U.S., all stainless Steel, the finish on this one is brut, brushed matte, which I like a lot. I like the finish. I like the cutouts for the rinse ports there. I really, I've been enjoying this razor a lot. And I remind you as always, if you are shopping at above the time, you want to save yourself some money, use discount code IMCDB to get 10% off. And it also helps the channel. So thank you if you do, but only if you plan to buy an above the time razor. Uh, above the time rates this razor at eight out of nine. In efficiency, so a fairly efficient razor. It's really, really nice. I've been enjoying it a lot. All right, let's get into it. We're going to start off by misting the face. We have about 24 hours growth there. And again, you can't see it as well in, in this restroom due to the lighting. Now, this is just plain water in a misting bottle. And let's get going today. We have our AP Shave Co. Handcrafted Series Brush and our Crown and Crane Tobacco Caramel. And I'm looking forward to using the, oh man, what a scent. This is terrific. Crown and Green is one of those uh, sleeper brands that has not caught fire just yet. There was a gentleman last year on Instagram named Brian who put me on to Crown and Crane. Thank you, Brian. It is a good soap. And um, I reached out to the razor company and I was like, hey, you know, have you ever heard of this brand or are you, would you consider carrying them? And uh, they were not carrying them at the time. And they did pick them up and the rest is history. People are starting to discover this brand. As you can see from the lather there, no quality problems at all. It was easy to lather. So it's not soft or goopy or, you know, it doesn't present any difficulties, or at least for me, the way I lather. And, and that is excellent. Wow, what a pleasant scent this is. This is, this is, I would say, as far as I'm concerned, one of the better tobacco scents out there and it seems familiar to something I've smelled before, but I can't place it. Um, I think it might be based on a cologne um, of some sort and it's very nice. And boy, let me tell you, oh man, it just, I don't know, I really like it. <laughs> Crown and Crane. If you haven't tried them, check them out. They are stocked at the Razor Company. Uh, the blade for today is the Treat. This is often referred to as the Black Beauty. It's a carbon steel blade that is black and let's get going. Oh man, that feels beautiful. The above the tie razors are still great quality. Razors, they've been around for a long time. About 10 years now, they're one of the early artisanal razor makers that made, you know, premium razors. And one of the things they've done over the years, which is really unusual, you hardly see anybody do this, is they've reduced their prices on some of their wares. So this razor right here, the uh, RH, the old above the tie H plate, um, when you bought it 10 years ago was $185 for the you know full razor, not just a plate. And this razor is $160. So $25 cheaper, almost 10 years later. And who does that? <laughs> you know, so 
My hat is off to above the tie because rarely do you see companies actually reduce their prices. Now they've changed the razor a little bit, but in my opinion, for the better, still same Atlas handle, still same quality in the Windsor line. Really, really nice. And these razors don't get quite as much attention as they used to because there's lots of other artisanal razor makers now. But keep in mind, uh, above the tie's been around a long time. And there, there's our uh, razor. Um, and they've been around a long time for a reason. They make a very good razor. And I'm glad to have, uh, we had them on Real Talk. Um, and I'll link that below for you. We had them on a real talk, you know, a couple of months ago, and it sort of rekindled my uh, love for Above the Time, one of the OG um, premium razor makers here in the United States. And I tell you what, this is an efficient razor for sure. So if you want mild, you might consider the, they have an M plate, they have an R plate. M would be more mild. R is usually right there, you know, towards the middle. The first razor that I ever got from Above the Tie was, um, it was an Above the Tie um, R1, which means that was closed comb with a, uh, I had a Kronos handle on it, which is a little bit longer than the Atlas because at that time I preferred longer handles. Now I prefer <laughs> shorter. So your preferences can and will change over time, as well as your opinion on things. You can come back and find some of my older videos where I say things that I don't, uh, I no longer find to be true today. And that's a sort of evolution, if you will. You know, learning, growing, and also your preferences just change sometimes. And so it doesn't mean at the time I wasn't speaking honestly because I was for that time. But I can even find videos from last year where my opinion has changed on things. So I'm always looking to take in information and grow as a result of that information. And so you'll, you'll see that there's always a change in um, preferences for the most part. Now, you know, there are some things you love the first time you ever use it and you just always love it, you know, and that does happen. But a lot of times your preference changes over time. Man, whew, what a scent on this soap. It's really good if you like tobacco <laughs> scents. And again, I always like to caveat when I say tobacco scents, I don't mean like smoke from cigarette smoke or something like that. I mean the tobacco plant, which tend to be, a, a lot, most of the scents tend to be a little sweet, but this isn't too sweet. It's very nice. Oh man. The tree blade in here seems to be a good fit. It's cutting well. This is the second use on it. You saw it the other day. This is a good old school razor. Now this one has been changed a little bit from the original, like I said. This is the RH version. I also have the H1, which I used. I did a head-to-head -head on these a couple of weeks ago, and I slightly prefer this one. It really is a nice razor. The packaging on Above the Tie is great. The customer service at Above the Tie is great. The product is great. And again, They've been around for so long because they know how to treat their customers and they make a great product still. Not as flashy as some of the other razors, but man, I tell you what, it's an excellent shaver. Very nice. I've been sort of going uh, on my cheeks against the grain in past two sometimes and then doing a little bit of residual cross on past three, just changing it up a little bit. It works. Oh, man. There was a gentleman yesterday, <laughs> and he commented saying, you know, can you please be quiet so I can hear the razor <laughs> cutting? And uh, that's just not the type of videos that I make. I like to keep the conversation going because for me personally, and this is just me, you can hear a little bit of feedback there. Can you hear that? Um... I like to watch videos where I'm, uh, I like to hear what people have to say. I'm watching them shave, of course, and sometimes I'm actually listening, you know, because I'm multitasking. But um, the most important thing for me is I want to hear someone's thoughts. I want to hear, you know, what's going on in their life. I want to, you know, get make a connection with the, uh, 
with the person doing the video. Um, obviously, I'm also interested in their opinion on shaving gear. But most times I'm more interested in the person, you know, you just, you make a connection with people. And I'm, I hope I've made a connection with, with you folks as well. And I hope that's the reason you keep coming back, in part at least. Um, and so anyway, I like to keep the conversation going. It's my style of video making. Um, for me, I'm going to do a quick cross the grain pass. Why not? With this beautiful soap and razor. For me, when there's a lot of silence, it's kind of boring because let's face it, we've seen everyone shave at this point. We know there are people who are terrific shavers and put on a clinic on shaving, but if you're a hobbyist, chances are, you know, if you've been around any amount of time, you've, you're, you've gotten or are quickly getting the, the shaving down. And so then it's about products and listening to people, you know, so for me, for me whoa, knocked something off there, which I often do in this bathroom. It's kind of a pain in the rear. It's a little small in here. But anyway, um, for me, I like to hear what people have to say. I like to hear their thoughts as they're shaving, as to how things are going. And uh, a bunch of silence in a video for me is just, it's not my thing. Um, but as I always say, it's your shave. Do it your way. And if it's your video, do it your way as well. And as I always say also, the only way to do it wrong is if you're acting in bad faith or being a nasty person you know otherwise it's all good it's all good all right let's get a quick cross the grain pass in here very nice by the time this pass comes around when i've already gone against the grain there's not as much left you're not going to hear as much feedback in this third pass and that's the way it should be very nice though this is a smooth efficient razor it is quite efficient. I don't know if it's eight out of nine efficient, but it's a good, on their scale, they go to nine as the max. I would say it's a good seven out of nine, at, probably at least, probably close to that eight out of nine. But it does it for me while still being smooth, which is very important. I want a nice, smooth shave. I don't want to feel a lot of roughness and... Uh, one thing about the Bub Tie, this razor, it's still quite smooth while being efficient. And that is a great combination for me. You may prefer it to be a little mild, milder. That is okay. Um, I like to feel the blade. It just really guides me and helps me in my shaving. You know, I can feel that cutting and I'm not guessing. You know what I mean? And so for me, I like that. But above the Tie sort of, they have razors to fit, you know, the uh, mild, medium, and efficient. So you can kind of get whichever one you please. They will look the same. So you can, you know, well, uh, of course there are different handle options. There are different plates and things like that that look different, but I mean, they will have this very razor in um, sort of mild and medium. So if Super efficient is not your jam, so to speak. You can find something that is, and that's always great. Man, that was a very nice shave. The Crown of Crane, it's really good soap. Don't sleep on it. Try it. I recommend it. All right, that was an excellent shave. I'm going to rinse, and we'll come back into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse, removed the soap, and then we applied our Razor Rock alum. No stings. That was a super smooth shave. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse, and then Towed off with our Lancaster towel back there prior to applying the magic made by Witches, the Stayers Cucumber Witch Hazel. Had an excellent shave today with Crown and Crane Tobacco Caramel. If you like tobacco scents, this one is superb. I recommend it. Big thumbs up on it. We had a beautiful shave with the Above the Tie SSRH. And again, I remind you, if you're interested in Above the Tie and they plan to purchase one, Use discount code IMCDB for 10% off, and it also helps the channel. So thank you if you do, but as always, never any pressure, only if you're going to shop at Above the Tide. They do make great razors, and I enjoyed using this one again today. The Treat Blade was excellent. One of the things I want to mention, this is a carbon steel blade. I don't recommend that you ever leave a carbon steel blade in your razors, because carbon steel will rust a lot quicker than stainless so be cognizant of that. I don't care what sort of blade it is, whether it's a knife, straight razor, whatever. If it's carbon steel, um, make sure you dry it off. 
um, because moisture and carbon steel just do not mix. Stainless will give you a little more leeway, but carbon, just be very careful with that. We're going to close things out today with, this is a sample that Chris Garcia sent you. Shout out to you, Chris. This is bandwagon, and I have the, I did actually locate the, uh, the splash uh, in the bottle, but I bought, brought this sample with me because it's been laying around for a long time. Oh, man. Oh, man. Declaration Bandwagon. Sadly, they don't make this anymore. It is a beautiful barbershop scent. It's my favorite barbershop scent of all time. But, alas, they don't make it. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, sure shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.